Hi, this is Chipmaster, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove an EFI lock on a MacBook for the Air, the Pros. All right, and I'm going to demonstrate it now. So first, I'm going to connect the MagSafe. Right, I'm going to hit the button, and I'm going to press the Option key. While right, I press on the Option key, then you should see a padlock icon with the asking for a password, and this is the EFI lock. Right. So as you can see, there's an EFI lock there on the screen. So what I'm going to do now, we normally uh, back up the BIOS, reflash the BIOS, but I'm going to show you another method. You don't have to flash the BIOS. You have to look, for, you can use the win hex, find a specific string, right? And then we're going to move down a couple lines and then erase the password. You can't see it because it's encrypted. So by removing the encryption line, then the password will be cleared. Okay, I'm going to show you on the, I'm going to take apart the machine, back up the BIOS and then get back to you on the machine. Uh, remove the BIOS chip. Now I'm connecting the BIOS programmer to the computer system and I'm going to open the software. Alright, so I'm uh, going to read the BIOS chip. Alright, so I'm going to read the BIOS chip. Make sure that um, the chip is detected and we can read. Alright. So I'm just going to click on Smart Identify. Okay, here we go. We have an 8 megabytes. And this is uh sorry 64 and this is the 8 megabyte bias chip so I'm gonna read alright verifying the process and uh I'm just going to save this as password. Uh, this is a A14. Uh, I'm from the model, it's a A1466. Alright, underscore backup password. Alright, backup. Okay, so I'm just going to save this to the desktop. Right, and then I'm going to just show my desktop icons and uh, here is it here so this is the software WinHex right this is um, the, Win the hexadecimal editor that we're going to use to edit as you know for regular BIOS um, editing and stuff right so this is the BIOS for the Apple A1466 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type in I'm gonna select uh, the keyboard shortcut control F right and I'm going to search for the string right I'm gonna type in uh, dollar sign right S S B S press enter now as you can see here is the starting point of SBS as you can see here we have some other information down here right uh, if I search for the next uh, <coughs> let me see uh, it's searching for the next section right normally it's um, F3 right so F3 oh, move this all the way so F3 right so f3 and it's not finding anymore so this is a starting string so what i'm going to do i'm going to select here from the sbs here let me clear that so from here i'm going to move six lines one two three four five hold on let me start over it says one two three four five six from here i'm going to go down 15 lines one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right? So here. Sorry, six lines from here. Let me go again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna select Alt One, which is the starting block. Right, I'm gonna go down 15 lines from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
right and i'm gonna put here at the six and i'm gonna press all two which is the end of the block and i'm gonna press ctrl l and i'm gonna fill that with f's right so i'm gonna fill this with f's and i'm gonna click ok right and then we're gonna file and we're gonna save as right and this is a a1466 right and i'm going to name this as password remove okay that bin all right and then we are going to save all right so let me pause. okay and now i'm going to test it so i'm going to press the power button and hold on the option key all right so we're going to see if it worked okay and it's in as you can see i'm now into the boot menu and i can access the drives now before it was a padlock here all right so this is how you remove the efi lock from these uh macbook based machines macbook pro and air series okay thanks for watching